let's do a quick summary of the different methods that we have studied to select cells in Excel, especially multiple cells together at the same time using various methods. These are the methods that we have studied in the previous videos. And I will do a quick summary of these methods and also when I would recommend these methods to be used. And these are just recommendations, but you should definitely practice these methods on your own and find the method that works best for you in different situations. There's no one best method or the only one right method here. It just depends on what data you're selecting and how it is spread out in your worksheet. It also depends on your personal preferences, whether you prefer to use the keyboard or the mouse and other things. So definitely practice and then find the best method that works for you. I will do a quick summary of my recommendations and all these different methods. You should also go back and see some of the previous videos where I will explain these methods in more detail but I'm just going to do a quick summary since we already covered these methods in detail in the previous videos. Let's start with the first method. We are in cell A1 and if I want to select one cell on the right, I would just do shift right arrow key. And if I want to select one more on the right, I would do shift right arrow key again. Now we have selected A1, B1 and C1 together. And if I use shift down arrow, I will be able to select all these three cells in row number two. And if I do it once more, I can select all these three cells in row number three. If I want to deselect cells in row three, I will just use shift up arrow. This will deselect cells in this direction. So now I will have only A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, and C2 selected. And this is a great method if you just want to select one cell at a time or one column of cells or one row of cells at a time. This is great if you prefer to use keyboard to select cells. The next method was the control shift and arrow key. And I'm gonna press again on cell A1 and I'm gonna use control shift down arrow key. And this selects all the cells, all the five cells here in column A. And as you can see here, this is great if you want to select all the cells in your data set in a column, or I, would, I want to select groups of cells together. For example, if I want to do control shift right arrow, now I select all of these until I find the edge of the data. So control shift arrow key is great to select lots of cells until the edge of your data set. It doesn't go and select some random cell here. It stops within your data set. That is great if you're only interested in selecting data in your worksheet. And also, if your data is spread across multiple pages, it is not that easy to select cell by cell using the shift arrow key, but you could just use the control shift arrow key to select data across pages because scrolling and selecting using one cell at a time, it's not that convenient, but you can use control shift arrow key, which will go and find the edge of your data and will help you to select all the cells in your data very quickly. Another method that we studied was the control shift plus end combination. And this shortcut is actually very, very helpful. If you wanna select all the cells in your data, for example, here, I am in cell A1, and if I want to select all of my cells here, I can use control, shift, and end combination. So what this does is it goes and finds the last used cell, in this case, the last used cell is C5, and it selects all the cells until then. For example, if I am in cell A3, if I use control, shift, end, this will go and select all the cells until C5. And as you can see here, it was very, very quick for me to do that. And you can also use from here, if I want to use Control Shift Home, I can select all of the cells to the beginning of my worksheet, which is the first used cell here. So to go from anywhere to the last used cell, that would be Control Shift End. Anywhere to the first used cell, that'll be Control Shift home 
So these shortcuts will help you to select lots of cells very quickly. Now, these are methods that use the keyboard, but we can also use the mouse to select cells at a time. For example, I'm gonna click on cell A1 and I'm gonna keep my left mouse click pressed on my mouse and then drag along any direction. So I can select cells, multiple cells very quickly. And this is great if you prefer using the mouse. And this is also good if you want to select cells which are blank. Um, and this is great if your cells are all on the screen where you can see all the data on screen. But if your cells are spread across multiple pages, this is not very convenient because you have to scroll and select multiple cells. Sometimes that can be painful. So this is, this is a method that I would recommend if your data set is small and if you prefer using the mouse and if you want to stop selection at some random cell instead of the edge of the data, then using this mouse click and drag would be a recommended method. There's also another method using mouse. So I can press here on cell A1 and I can, I can stop pressing any of the keys in my keyboard and then I will just go anywhere and then I would use shift key plus click and this will select a bunch of cells together. I don't have to drag. I can just use my shift key and then click anywhere so I can select lots of cells at the same time. This method is recommended if your data is across pages. It is just easier. You can scroll. You don't have to keep dragging your mouse, but you can just scroll and then use the shift and click to select data across pages. So this method would be recommended if you have lots of data across pages and if you like using your mouse and if you want to stop at some random cell, which could be a blank cell, then this is a great method to use. We also studied how we can select a column of cells or rows of cells at a time. For example, I can click here on the column heading A to select all of the column A and I can use control and click here to select multiple columns, full columns of cells at the same time. And I can also use shift, for example, to select a group of columns. The rows work the same way. I can select one row of cells at a time by clicking on the row heading. I can use control and click on another so I can select one more row of cells very quickly. We can also select all the cells in your worksheet very quickly by clicking on this little triangle so we can select all the cells in your worksheet. All these methods help you to select cells which are contiguous, meaning they are right next to each other, they are connected, they are linked somehow. But if I want to select non-contiguous cells, I can click anywhere, let's say cell A5, and then I use control, click in cell C4. Now, now I have selected these two cells and I can use control and click in another cell to select more cells very easily. This allows me to select non-contiguous cells and also I can deselect them as well. Shift, the last method we studied was around locking these cells. Instead of pressing the control key all the time, we can just lock the selection. For example, I can select A4 and A5, and then I use Shift F8, then that locks the selection for me, and I can add more to the selection, however I want, very easily. I don't have to keep pressing the any keys on my keyboard. I can just use my mouse and select more cells. Again, this method would be recommended if you want to select lots of non-contiguous cells on your worksheet and then you can apply any operation. For example, if I want to delete the selected cells, I press the delete key. There you go, I have deleted the cells and this method would be very handy if you want to apply such operations to a lot of cells that are non-contiguous. I'm going to use Control Z to bring back what I deleted and I'm gonna click on cell A1. So now we went through all these methods about selecting and deselecting cells. And these will come very, very handy when we move into the next series of videos where we will start applying operations to the selected cells. Now that we have studied how to select cells, we can easily select the cells and then apply certain operations like deleting or formatting or 
changing things very, very quickly to a lot of cells. 